guys so I got this on 625 and it was uh, at various times so between 749 in the morning until oh I don't know one in the morning the next day two in the morning the next day something like that um, it's called seven pivotal moments um, and I'm going to start with Malachi 318 then you shall again discern between the righteous and the wicked between one who serves God and one who does not serve God so number one, my scattered vagabonds have my own begun to rise to the top. The screen falls between those fully mine and who are not. The rise of demons, they will have full attacks on those not fully prepared. They will aim at my anointed and fully faithful, but will be quickly defeated with my provisions of angels to fight on their behalf. Do not be surprised as the darkness makes a visible gap between you and others. This is the natural course of separation for this time. The spread of demons can and will be widespread and aggressive. Those that are mine but not actively praying can be oppressed. Those not mine can and will be possessed. This will change the temperaments of many you come in contact with. If you are anointed, they will not be able to look you in the eye. They may lash out at you, but they will have limits and boundaries that I set in place. As people accept the darkness passively, they do not understand that a demon has any association or oppression over them. The influence of the demon is very very subtle at first praying continually for your protection and for there to be boundaries of safety around you and your family and your property is essential the fight in the spiritual is growing walk in prayer now i um had some experiences that i'm supposed to interject here okay so on the 21st uh, that was the day that the kings did their ritual and darkness was rising. Okay, that day I happened to drive to the theater to take my daughter down to where she works. And every day we pass the same place. Every day the windows are down pretty much. So all of a sudden I noticed this very strong sulfur smell at one building. And I was like, that's really odd. So I prayed and asked what it was. And I was told it was demons from the pit. Deep evil. Okay, so then... The next couple days it rained. I didn't have my top down or my windows down and all that. So then it was like the fourth day, I think, that I went back by and the darkness smell of sulfur had reached five times farther. Like I was just past halfway there by the time I started smelling it. And I was like, wow, that was really quick. And by that night, they were on the street of our neighborhood. And the next day they were in the shrubs. I had to pray them all out and um the fight is real now those of us that are praying we are having um really quick success like sometimes you have to pray a long time wait a long time nope we're getting it like that day within minutes like it's very quick so just to encourage you that this is not about a fictitious time in the future this is happening right now okay so second one i cascade my gifts and blessings upon julie who is soon to lead. Pray for her boldness and for all who see her being used by me, that they hear and that they have open hearts. There are others that I will use. For this time, I keep them private for their protection. The Lord works through time and through people and uses things and people as he sees fit. Most will be provided for most will not have to ask for anything to be done. Before the need arises, the Lord will go before and provide. After these miracles are performed, those that claim that I am the author and that it is because of one's true faith as to why these have existed, the people in this type of obedience will be noted those who have obeyed will be used to show God's mighty hand. 
If the proper methods are used, I will provide mighty miracles to those in obedience. But Julie will go before all and perform miracles before I do this for the faithful. It will be noticed. She will make the way. This will draw attention of both the demons and those who promote the false Messiah, for they will not be happy. They will seek to shut her down. Pray for her. What she is about to do will take my boldness and true faith. She will need your prayers. Her protection will be essential. Pray for her daily. What she will do will take much energy. She will not have the time to keep up with all of you. When she comes to Gaboa, she will see who prayed and supported her. Number three, the calm. The calm before the storm is not static and calm as it appears. The darkness is building rapidly in this time. Stay in prayer so the evil one does not overtake you. Pray continually for your boundaries. Pray, pray continually for your protections. Obey this and it will be noted. Do not obey this and all will see for your darkness will separate you from those with true faith. It has already begun. Pray all day, walking in prayer. Walking in prayer will keep you in perfect peace. Number four, some wonder when the first events will occur. Trust me, you will know when the social uprising occurs. It will be on your doorstep and no one will be able to ignore its existence. It will be a dangerous time. With or without news coverage, all will be aware of this event. There will be much turmoil. This will be brief but intense. Many will begin to awaken spiritually at this time. S others will not awaken until the war. Some are awakening now. With much wisdom and only when led by me, share gently what those who awaken need to know. By the end of the third wave of awakenings, the Holy Spirit will have spread to all the ends of the earth. And then the rapture will occur. Those left will endure darkness and misery. They will need to choose between me through my son or the Antichrist. The first harvest has begun. As those whom I tap awaken, this will spread. By the end of the war, much will change. And the people will continue to spread me to one another as they awaken. You will see miracles and awakenings that have never been seen. Rejoice. It already begins. Pray for these that awaken, that they grow strong quickly. Number five, prayer needs to be your new way of life, constant and regular. Regardless of what else you do, pray continually. Those who do not do this will have difficulties. See before that I give you the keys to success before you need it. Use my ways. Those that do will be noted. Number six, give. Give more than you receive from those around you. I will bless you. Give for the right reasons. What are the right reasons? Obedience to me, compassion and love. My son's words express the currency of heaven to put the other person first. Do this in the practical things of the everyday. Live the words of the Bible. Be my living testimony by being an actual living example of the words. Absorb it. Live it. This is the first step of being my hands and feet. Those who exemplify my ways are my servants. Be kind and forgiving. Place the other first. Show love with grace. The time is coming that the world will be drawn to these who follow my words. The shock and dismay and losses will ready their hearts and they will be drawn like a magnet to those who act like my son. Pray for Christ likeness. All of the time before the social uprising that is building already in the spiritual needs to be in as much prayer as possible. The volume of prayer will be heard and will help our armies defeat the darkness. Pray, 
praise, dance for joy. The evil ones rise and as they do, their defeat is assured. Be counted worthy with those who pray for the great victory. I see all. Those who are lazy do not pray. Those who pray will be separated out and have extra protections. Those who do not pray will not have the same protections. Pray with praise and sincerity. Pray with faith and joy. Pray with wisdom and hope. Raise your praises. Raise your prayers. The great King, Jesus the Messiah, is being prepared for his arrival. Be part of my prayer chorus. Number seven, let not your heart be troubled. I, the Lord God Almighty, have all the details of your life in my hand. Be bold for me. Be like Joshua's army. Be boldly obedient and watch unthinkable things occur to defeat the enemy. Hold up one another in prayer. Remember who I am, the miracles I have shown. Trust me with all of your heart. Be part of the revolution. Be part of the revival. Be part of those who lead the way through my power and my love as a witness to others as to who I am. The God of the universe and the God of the individual, the giver of provisions and compassion. Be my witness. Pray. The darkness has already begun to spread, spending every day in as much prayer as possible until my son Jesus reverses gravity for you and you are called up. Stay focused. No matter what deceptions you see with your eyes, stay focused on me. Keep your eyes stayed and steady. So that's it. I hope it encourages you and see you soon.